Well, thank you for your interest in door renew and for taking the time to go over this little introduction. And this will be a very brief introduction. Let's take a look at our history, then talk about why we do it, what do we do, how do we do it, what makes us different, and then for you, what are the next steps? Well, our history. In 2005, our founder had a handyman franchise, and he would get calls from homeowners who had a door that was beat up by the sun, the elements, rain, and that sort of thing. He would dispatch a technician. The technician would go out and do what most people back then did, and most still do. Lightly sand it, put a coat of gel state on it, top it off with polyurethane. Looked fantastic for about six months, and then it would fail. He eventually stopped doing those jobs because with the cost of the calls back, he just wasn't making any money on them. Through some interesting circumstances, he got to know this company that restores antique boats. And as he saw what they were doing to those wooden boats, that obviously are exposed to a lot more moisture than our doors, he said that's what those doors needed. Sometime later, he w was looking to, just to do some little side light work, so he put a small ad in a local uh, newspaper. And that generated some calls, and he put that in in the fall. Did a few doors using the techniques from the antique boat company, and then sort of forgot about it, got another job. But the next spring, the call started coming in again. He hadn't done any more marketing. People had held on to that ad. Just told him there's a market out there for this. And, and in any case, the hobby took off. A hobby gone wild. He started getting more and more calls, started doing some advertising, went into it full time. 2012, added a couple of other locations. Then in 2014, started franchising Door Renew. So that's a very brief overview of our history. Let me talk first about why did I get involved in, uh, in, in door renew? Why do I have a franchise? Well, for me, and your reasons may be different, these are mine, I needed to increase my income potential. I had a very good job with a major national franchise company that had several different franchise concepts under it. I was a vice president, but I had been there a while. There was no place for me to go in that company. I couldn't make any more money. But I, t I liked my job a lot, but I was working a lot. And I had no control over when I would be put on a plane, where I'd be going, visits to franchisees, trade shows, conventions, and that sort of thing. And the more I worked, I didn't make any more money. I was on a salary. So I wanted more control. I also wanted to do what I wanted to do, not what someone else told me I must do. And for I know I'm not alone in this, but I always wanted to have my own business. And I also realized, you know, when I left my job, left on very good terms and still good relationships with those folks there. But I, I didn't sell them anything. I didn't walk away with a check. I just didn't have a job anymore. Having my own business, I knew at the end, at least I had the potential to sell it. So that's why I have a franchise. As we started the launch franchises, we wanted to do this for the average guy, the regular guy who doesn't have a million dollars to invest in you know, a McDonald's type franchise where you have all kinds of leasehold improvements and equipment costs, something that the regular guy could do to replace his income, perhaps exceed that income, give that person a, a, you know, a business system that works where they would have more control of their time, better quality of life. So that's some of the whys. What do we do? Well, as our name implies, we renew doors. That one there that you see before and after, that's a fiberglass door. Here's an oak door. We do other types of doors. Well, we take a door that looks terrible and make it look great for a fraction of the cost of replacing it. So we offer tremendous value to the customer. How do we do it? This is not a training session, so I'm not going to go into tremendous detail here, but let's just walk through our steps for a door. Customer calls with a beat up door. This one happens to be mahogany. Terrible, terrible shape. You can see just how stained it is and finishes flying off of that thing. We bring the door into our shop, of course, sealing the opening with the temporary door. Once the door is in our shop, we strip it using chemicals and hand tools down to bare wood. Sand it properly, get the wood ready to receive stain, seal coats, varnish, and that sort of thing, and then deliver the door. Customers delighted, looks so much better from the before to the after. Side lights and transoms, we obviously cannot bring those to the shop, so we do them on site, no problem at all, following the same steps. Well, what makes us different? I mentioned before, you know, the technician would go out uh, with the handyman company and, and do this work. A lot of people think they can do it, so what, why are we any different? 
Well, for us, this is a job. It's not a hobby. It's not a sidelight. It's not something we're doing to moonlight. This is what we do. We also specialize in it. We know what makes the, the, the coding fail in the first place. We're not going to go put a Band-Aid on a heart attack. We're going to deal with the root cause. We take a very professional approach, unlike many people in the trades, unfortunately. But we do take a very professional approach, how we present ourselves to the public, what we say when we answer the phone, how we present an estimate, how we close a deal, how we treat the customer when they're on their premises, and those sorts of things. We're also very aggressive. We want these businesses to thrive, so we're going to be aggressive in how we go to market, how we approach things. Our training system is outstanding. It's, it's really specialized on door restoration, woodworking, and you'll know how to finish a door when you're done with training. There's also a very robust support system behind uh, as your safety net to help you out. You are not alone in this. So let's take a look at some of that training and support. So that training begins in what we call right start. Before you launch, these are the below grade things you need to do to get your business up and established so that you can then launch your business. We have a series of manuals on various aspects of the business. One of them obviously is marketing because you need to develop a marketing plan. We'll walk you through all this. Your marketing plan then flows into a financial projection. And then once you do launch and are com completed with training, you launch, you have a million things going on. It's all brand new. We have a launch sequence program for the first four weeks. These are the things you must do that specific week to keep your business on track. After launching, we even have what we call a personal assessment. Am I following the door renew system? Just to keep us, to keep our bearings straight. Uh, we have, of course, online uh, uh, training and, 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 and tools that are available to you through a YouTube channel, through an intranet site, a document library, the internet site. Uh, obviously, personal support is uh, available through, through calls, emails, and, and text. Uh, but we really do want uh, to make that support available uh, for you. And as I mentioned earlier, you're not alone. You have fellow franchisees who are doing the same thing and really want you to do well. You're not competing with them. They will tell you the truth. They'll tell you tips that they've learned. Lean heavily on that support group. So next steps, and again, these you maybe have done some of these already, but uh, the next step would be to schedule a call with the president of Door Renew. Give me a call. My contact information is at the end of this show. I'll set that up for you. A chance for the, the president and founder to get to know you a little better, you to get to know him, and find out more about Door Renew. Then you know, you're going to want to get an FDD, Franchise Disclosure Document. That's the legal documentation that you will want to review and perhaps have legal counsel review with you. Then schedule a discovery day, a chance for you to come in and, and visit our training center, meet the staff, uh, see firsthand how we do things. At some point, uh, we're going to want to start talking about territory. We'll run demographics on that territory to make sure it will support a, a door renew business. And then we're going to want to get involved uh, in, in training, some of which is online, some of which is at our training center, because you want to get your business ready to launch. We want to get you behind the wheel of your door renew van. I want to end with a quote here. This is a, a Johann von Goethe. He has a couple of great quotes that I really like, found these very instrumental in my life. In the first one, I have come to the frightening conclusion that I am the decisive element. And he goes on. Second one is similar. Whatever you can do or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. It's up to me. It's up to you to take the next step in this thing. So whether you're interested in door renew or pursuing some other things, I would encourage you to be aggressive and go for it. You are the decisive element. To contact me, just give me a call, shoot me an email, text. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks so much for your interest in door renew. I look forward to chatting with you.